Hi roller skaters. This video is about a couple different little toe stop deck stalls that I, I like to do and I feel like they've helped me learn different things. Um, I'm going to try to explain what I mean. In a previous video when I explained how to backside stall, I explained the first thing that I learned how to do before I learned how to actually land on the coping was to go into the mini ramp and I turn to the left. So if you turn to the right, so of course, switch it the other way. But I, I'm going to jump out, turn to the left, and land on my toe stops on the deck. Over here? Over there. Like this. Oh. All right. Now from here, at first you might just kind of stop. And then, okay, now I'm going to go back in. Try it again. Eventually you want to get to where you can land on the toe stops and jump back in. Land on the toe stops, jump back in. Land on the toe stops jump back in. That takes some com commitment there, I bet. It Actually, I think it's easier than landing on the coping because it's less precise oh. and it doesn't slide. Because the coping sometimes slides with your, your, your foot or your blocks, right? That's so, true. If you get comfortable with that, a variation that you can do is sort of like a, like a semi-staple gun, where in my case, I'm going to turn and land on my right toe stop with the left foot down inside the transition. See that? Cool. Flex the left foot on the right toe stop. Right toe stop, left foot in. Again, switch it the other way if you're turning the other way. You can use that as sort of a, a way to get comfortable with a backside. I think it's, I think it's a little easier than a backside for me because on a full backside, you're gonna land on the coping. It's more precise. Whereas if you land one foot on deck, one foot in the transition, it feels like your weight is split, more like a, a split stance. So it doesn't feel quite as committed as okay. landing on the coping. I used that before I, I committed to the coping, to landing on the coping. Same thing applies for going fakie. Um, before I learned how to do a fakie stall, here, I'll turn this way so y'all can see. Before I learned how to do a fakie stall, again, my left foot Front, my right foot's in back. I was just tapping the back foot on the coping, and then I was trying to jump out onto the toe stops. Mm -hmm. Same kind of thing to lead with your butt, push your butt back, you know, push onto the toe stops and try to jump back in. Go to the wow. other side. So when I go fakie, I'm looking over my open shoulder, pushing my butt back, jumping on the toe stops, jumping back in. That looks sort of sketchy. Pushing back open, look where you're going, push. See how I push my butt back? Yeah. I, I ride all the way up the transition, jump on, jump off. That really helped me get comfortable with the idea of a fakie stall because again, it's not on the coping, so it's not quite as precise. You're, you're going over the coping, so you know you definitely have the speed to get on the coping but it feels less precise because you're jumping onto the deck, onto the toe stops, and they don't, it doesn't slide like the coping. Mm -hmm. So it seems a little less scary. Another thing that, again, with the, uh, the jumping out into the, like the semi-staple gun pose or stall going fakie, I'll try that. So let's go that way. So now when we go back, back foot on deck, front foot in. In my case, my right toe stop, back foot on the deck, left foot stays inside. Looking where I want to go, open shoulders, popping back, popping in. Mm -hmm. I learned how to do this, leading with the butt, hinging forward. I learned how to do this before I ever committed to a full out fakie stall. All right, so those are a couple things. Oh, once you get comfortable with two toe stops, maybe you want to try one toe stop. Maybe, I don't know, mm -hmm. it's up to you, if you feel comfortable. So, for instance, if I'm gonna go t turn to the left into my backside toe stop stall, I could just land on one toe stop, Ooh. right? How about that, one toe stop. My dominant toe stop is my right. So if you're the other way around, it would be your left. And then when you grab the other foot, that's another trick. That's called a backside boneless. It's called let's, a hell no for me. Let's try that. Grabbing the other foot, backside boneless. Wow. Backside boneless. 
you want to get fancy with it, well, I didn't. But if you want to get fancy with it, you can kind of do like an extension. Oh. That's kind of fun. Style uh, points. Another thing for the fakey toe stop, if you want to get fancy with the one toe stop, once you're comfortable with two toe stops, turning my body this way so y'all can see, going fakey, looking where I'm going to go, jumping on the back toe. Oh, I cheated. Try to jump onto that back toe stop and that's it. Oh. Mm, one. Again, open shoulders, look where you want to go, lead with your butt, jump, back it. Hinging from the hips, pushing the butt back, jump, back it. Can we do a fakie boneless? Oh, maybe. Ooh. Let's try it. Actually, I've never tried it. I don't know why. This is one and only. First oh. Whoa. Look at Stylish. that. Stylish. New trick. <laughs> fakey bone. Just like that. You're anyway, amazing. So those are kind of fun. I mean, I actually think, especially if you have relatively big toe stops, which I do, yeah, I it's actually not super intimidating to do these deck toe stop stalls. If you have big sturdy toe stops that kind of grip because it feels less slidey than the coping and it's less exact than the coping and the toe stop is going to stop you more than the coping so it kind of feels like like a less technical trick than doing it on the coping you can do toe stop stalls on the coping too but that's a lot more technical and harder and everything yeah. so anyway hopefully that's something that y'all can play with um you don't have to have a mini ramp you can just have like a quarter ramp with a deck but having a mini ramp makes it a lot more fun i think because you can have a lot of different tries mm -hmm. and pump back and forth between one side and the other um so i i really appreciate having a mini ramp hopefully that's something y'all can use and please let us know what you want to see or any funny comments and please like and subscribe thanks